Hello, in this video, we will learn more about Java data types. Data type refers to the type of data that can be stored in a variable. Java has two data types. One is primitive and other is reference data type. Primitive data type are ones which are built into Java language. Java has eight primitive data types which are byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, and boolean. Byte, short, int, long are integral numeric and they store whole numbers only. Each of these types have storage size and range of value supported. For example, byte has size of 8 bits or 1 byte and can store numbers from minus 128 to 127 only. Similarly, short has 16 bits or 2 bytes of space and can take values from minus 32768 to positive 32769. Int has 32 bits or 4 bytes and can take numbers from minus 2 raised to power 31 to 2 raised to power 31 minus 1. Long has 64 bits or 8 bytes and can take minus 2 raised to the power 63 to 2 raised to power 63 minus 1. Float and double are fractional or floating point data types. Float has 32 bits or 4 bytes of storage and has precision of up to 6 digits, means 6 digits after decimal point. It is also called a single precision floating point. Double has 64 bits or 8 bytes and has precision of up to 15 digits, so it is also called as double precision point. Next is character data type. It has 16 bits or 2 bytes of storage space and can store one character in Unicode. Here let me take a moment and explain ASCII data type and Unicode data type. Initially only one byte was used to store character data. Then ASCII or American Standard Code for Information Interchange character encoding scheme was used to represent English characters as numbers with each letter assigned a number from 0 to 127. For example, 48 to 57 represent numbers 0 to 9, 65 to 90 represent uppercase A to Z, 97 to 122 represent lowercase A to Z. However, it had its limitations as one byte could encode only 255 characters, so all other languages were not represented. Then Unicode was introduced as an international encoding standard which uses two bytes and could encode different languages and scripts by which each letter, digit or symbol is assigned a unique numeric value that applies across different platforms and programs. Java uses Unicode. Next is Boolean which has 8 bits or 1 byte of storage but stores only value of true and false. Now that we have covered primitive data type, let's take a look at reference data type. Reference data type are user-created data types using the primitive data types. Reference data type store address or reference to data. Examples are arrays, classes, etc. which we will learn a bit later. Java is often called as strongly typed language that is because variables can only take values that match the variable data type. The compiler ensures that the program does not try to assign data of the wrong type to the variable. A data type of lower size that means occupying less memory can be assigned to a data type of higher size. This is done implicitly by JVM so is called implicit casting. The lower size is widened to the higher size. This is also named as automatic type conversion. 
so a byte can be implicitly casted to short, short to int, int to long, long to float, and float to double. To note, a boolean value cannot be assigned to any other data type. So in the short example over here, we have an integer value of 10 which is assigned to double, which occupies 8 bytes. Now when we print the number, you will see that instead of 10, it prints 10.0. A data type of higher size means occupying more memory cannot be assigned to a data type of lower size. This is not done implicitly by JVM and requires explicit casting. A casting operation to be performed by the programmer to verify that the higher size is narrowed to lower size. A narrowing primitive conversion may lose information about the overall magnitude of a numeric value and may also lose precision and range. So here in this example, we have a double value of 10.5 which takes 8 bytes. If we try to assign it to an integer directly, it will raise a compilation error. However, if we do typecasting, it will allow it to go ahead, but however, when we try to print the value of integer, it gives a value of 10. In our next video, we will learn more about operators and how to form basic expressions in Java.